everybody welcome back to another episode of the off-grid hunter so uh today we are going to be cooking a moose roast uh, if uh, any of you have been following the channel or watching it for any amount of time you'll know that i do kill a lot of big uh big game animals like uh, bison uh, moose hopefully an elk this fall and uh, whatnot um, i do a lot of hunting specifically for the meat i've been pretty fortunate to get some pretty good trophies along the way as well but um, we do eat basically everything I kill and uh, give some away to family and friends if they want it but uh, for the most part we're just cooking wild game um, all, every day so today I'm going to show you how to cook this moose roast if you're like me and don't really have a lot of cooking skills um, it's pretty simple default back to the trusty old crock pot here and uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, uh, now the very first thing that you're gonna wanna do is put some olive oil in the bottom of your crock pot. So um, a moose is not as dry as a bison, but it is quite a dry meat and it will not, uh, um, it'll probably burn on the bottom of your pot if you don't have some oil in there. It's not like beef that has a lot of marbling in it. Um, so this, what I do is I just put line the bottom with some olive oil. You just uh, pour enough in there to coat the bottom of the pan. It's really all you need and it's just so you have a little bit of oil in there so your roast doesn't burn to the bottom of the pan as soon as you turn this uh, crock pot on. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do, put the moose roast in. Now. Um, I do take my wild game into a butcher. I don't uh, butcher it myself. I should probably learn that skill, but I just find with my time. Ugh. All right, uh, sorry about that. I uh, just had to take a call. Um, anyways, we were just about ready to put this roast in. Like I was saying, I don't cut my own meat. Um, I get it professionally done. We get sausages made. Um, it's just packaged just like you'd get it at uh, the grocery store in one pound packs and all the rest of it. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, put our roast in. Now, there's two ways to do this. You can either thaw it or you can, oops, uh, put it in frozen. Either way works fine. Oh man, that is gonna be a nice piece of meat there. All right. And uh, I've done it both ways. I get better results, I find, if you let it thaw first, but cooking it from frozen definitely works. Um, I'm just gonna wash up and then uh, we'll keep going on. All right, so we just put the, uh, our nice little uh, moose roast in the crock pot here. Uh, now we're gonna season it and you put whatever seasoning you want onto your choice, or the seasoning you want of your choice, really. You do, um, a rub that you would use for beef. Um, but if not, what we use is a bit of rosemary, um, some sage and some uh, these thyme leaves. And we just sprinkle a bit of that on. You could use a variety of things, uh, salt and pepper, whatever you're looking for, um, for flavor wise. But uh, this is what we typically put on and it turns out pretty decent. All right. Uh, first, let's bring a bit of this rosemary on. Key is really just season it to your flavor of choice. Can't really go wrong if it's stuff that you uh, like. All right, that's uh, it. All right, so that's basically it. Um, now, some people will put uh, like strips of bacon across the top of these roasts, um, thinking that the fat is going to make it moister. Um, I've tried it; it doesn't work. And in fact, I find that that bacon flavor. Um, I love bacon, but when you put the bacon flavor on the moose, it just doesn't taste uh, um, as good. Or does. 
it takes away from it in my opinion anyway i don't do it i don't find it makes it juicier um, more flavorful or anything like that uh, the other thing that i'm going to be doing as well um, since this cooks all day i usually put the crock pot pot out on the uh, deck to cook otherwise i'm just sitting in the house all day with my mouth watering because i can smell it all day in the crock pot so i'm going to go ahead and put this out in the deck i just got this ready uh tonight i'm going to turn it on tomorrow morning um if you're uh not going to cook it right away you should just leave it in the fridge but uh right now with the temperature outside it's basically the same temperature maybe a slightly cooler than our refrigerator so that's why i'm uh, leaving it uh, out in the deck and getting this ready the night before just we got uh, quite a bit going on in the morning so anyways uh tomorrow we will uh plug this in and start it up and uh, we'll see how it turns out all right uh, we just plugged this in the crock pot is on high you can see the uh, olive oil has solidified it got quite cool last night and that's why it uh, looks yellow like that but uh We'll come back and check this in eight hours, and we should have a nice tender moose roast. It uh, looks like the roast is all finished up. So we got some extra carrots and things added on there. Let's go cut it up. Okay, we got the roast all cut up. It's just ready to plate. Here's the carrots that were added uh, later. We'll put those on. Nothing beats roast carrots with a good roast. And uh, it's as simple as that. So that's uh, moose roast in a crock pot 101.